Joshua spent most of his first six months in hospital, but he's one in half a million. This is one foot and this is the arm. The limbs are his partially formed brother, fused to Joshua's spine, a parasitic twin with no vital organs of his own, no brain or heart. On first sight, even his mother was shocked. I was just standing so next to him and also why, why did you do it to me? And, and I tell myself, no man, I must look after the God gave me this baby to look after him. Fear was quickly replaced by love for Joshua and his undeveloped twin. But as Joshua's been growing, so has his twin. He needs help now to sit up. If left untended, the mass that is his twin will eventually leave him immobile. Okay. Surgical separation, despite the risks, is the only solution. We, we know that if we, if we don't do anything, um, this mass in his back is just relentlessly getting bigger and bigger. Uh, so it's going to significantly impact on his quality of life. These operations are extremely rare. The technique they're using, even more rare. The mass of wires and electrodes will alert the surgeons to pain, nerve and brain activity. The little boy already has a club foot, which means he may never walk. But the work on his spine means there's a real risk of total paralysis. This is the most delicate, the most complicated part of the operation, if you like, where they're actually working around the spinal cord and what they don't want to do is to damage that spinal cord even more than it's already damaged. The operation takes 12 very long hours. Every cut, every stitch recorded so others around the world can learn. The spinal cord was very unusual. Um, it was very helpful having the stimulation of the electrical signals because you found some completely bizarre signals that you really wouldn't have predicted. Probably demonstrates some merging between his spinal cord and Joshua's spinal cord and the parasitic twin spinal cord. The operation's gone well. They may be exhausted, but there's a real sense of achievement. And that's what working here is about. I mean, I, I love working here. That's why I work here, because you do get to do these incredible things and help people in ways that they couldn't be helped elsewhere. And actually, yeah, it feels fantastic. And it, and it does. It's a huge privilege. The surgeons have transformed Joshua. He's not out of danger yet by any means. But for the first time in his short life, he's without the parasitic twin which would have eventually killed him. The next week will be critical for him. He survived the long operation, but fighting off infection will now be his next challenge. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Cape Town.